Welcome back to the Navy Sports Magazine. Navy lacrosse team this week, and except for the Patriot League Tournament with defenseman Michael Strack. And boy, your play this year individually. Let's start there. Um, obviously, a lot expected of you. Uh, wanted you to be a leader uh, on the back end of that close defense. Has this season individually worked out the way you thought? And do you think you've met expectations? Uh, this season so far has been going well. Um, met expectations? I, I don't think so. I think we have a lot ahead of us that we still would like to meet as a team and individually I still have some goals out there that I'd like to reach as well. This is by no means the, the end of it and we continue to to impress and continue to gain the respect of our, our opponents each week and that's what we'd like to continue to do. You guys as a senior class, you know, you win the star game with Army four times in your career. What, is, what does that mean to you guys? That's an awesome feat. It's really, it's really awesome to know that we did that um, we did lose to them in the playoffs two of those years so that takes away from it a little bit I'd be lying if I, I said sure, it didn't yeah. but it, it's good to we'll, we'll reminisce on that one day and we'll be able to sit down and say how we beat Army all four years in a row which is which is awesome let's go back to that game this year you go up there you you win the game and it would be easy for this team to exhale bask in the glow of that win you go to Syracuse with Christian Daniel only being available on EMO. Casey gets hurt in the second quarter. How did this group persevere and get through Saturday to get the result that you all got? Yeah, I think it all really starts with our team culture. You know, we started it back in the fall. The senior class, the captains, and the team as a whole, the upper class, really created this culture, and I think it, it uh, translates onto the field this year. We, we're a pretty resilient team. We never quit, and mm -hmm. I think that translates – from beginning in the fall when we really created this culture that allows us to to continue to persevere. Could, could you see it in guys that maybe this group had that competitive fiber? Because competition is something that's hard to teach. It is something that has to develop, and you have to find guys, uh, 11 guys that are willing uh, to do that. Were you able to see that in the fall and the guys that we're seeing now were really developing that fiber and chemistry together? Yes, definitely. I think it started, you could even say with the senior class, like we've been together a while now. Yes, you have. <laughs> and everyone has their own personalities and different competitive natures and it all comes out onto the field in different ways and you could see it. Each play their role and express their emotions differently and it translates real well. It, it combines for a nice mixture uh, a nice formula for success. You guys as defensemen are, I, and I, I say this about the women's game too, you guys are put in such bad spots. The, the, the skill of the offensive players you're going against now has never been better uh, in this sport. The combination of size and speed and stick work and things of that nature. How hard is it during the course of a season to prepare for each team individually as A, a team, but also in your case, you're going up against six-on-six six guys every week, where in many cases it's a different skill set from mm -hmm. players you're seeing as well. Yeah, so that all goes to your preparation through practice throughout the week, putting in the extra time. And really saw we harped on film a bunch this year, and guys are just putting in the extra time. And that allows you to know the different tendencies of each player that you're going against, whether it's a guy that you're originally matched up on or a different guy that just comes onto the field and you get switched on to. Because this year we, we've harped on – not being a matchup oriented defense mm -hmm. you know we we all have, we all believe we can cover anyone on the field so that's why does that help let me ask you this does that help in slide packages because in some cases you know like you mentioned individually you're going to go with a certain player no matter where he mm -hmm. goes but does it make the slide packages easier when you don't necessarily have that lockdown individual responsibility for each guy um, Yes, you could say so. It's just a matter of each individual player on the field knowing every position on the field. So whether, say I'm at X, I know how to play that. Or if I go up top and get switched on to a midi, I know how to um, fill from that position mm -hmm. as well. So it's really just created a chemistry within the defense where we could flow throughout the field well and know what we're doing no matter where we are. One thing that has helped you all this year is knock on wood. Um, you, Hiram, Andrew, have stayed healthy for the most part. Is that one of the most important things, though, to keeping and developing that chemistry uh, throughout the season, the fact that you guys have been able to stay together and obviously play together in front of Ryan? Yes, I would say so. Of course, it always helps to know who's next to you. 
Uh, you know, not getting a new guy every week, and that happens on some teams, and that's a shame. Like you said, knock on wood, we've been able to stay healthy on the close defensive end, and we continue to do so. So How much, how much to the fact that Ryan has played so well that you all know, look, I mean, you all know at some point shot's going to get through to him, yeah. but you all know you have, he's playing with extreme confidence mm-hmm. right now. Does that then come out? In terms of you guys, do you all feel that same confidence and maybe your confidence rise because you know the guy behind you uh, is ready to make a big stop for you? Yes, definitely. So it's it's really nice to know that if I do mess up, I have Ryan behind me to get my back at times. And not only Ryan, I think uh, the defense as a whole, we each trust each other and know if we do one thing, that we can trust the guy behind us to, to get our back. And that's really reassuring when you're when you're going against some of the players that we do. Pretty much after the Loyola game, especially, you all have really found a good rhythm, a a good confidence. As ball carriers, you, Hiram, David Jones, DJ for the most part, you all have found yourself in tremendous, Jeff Durden as well, in tremendous transition opportunities. We're getting extra goals as a result of that. Is that just something that has come with more of a comfort and a feel and a confidence uh, and you guys carrying the ball and, and obviously finishing at the other end? Yeah, it's definitely, I think it all goes back to practice, how you prepare throughout the week. So we run transition drills and get the opportunity to uh, run that transition and see different scenarios. And then when you see it come game time, you're prepared for it because you've ran through it a million times in preparation. Well, we've seen you pull a couple of Houdini acts with that long pole while you're getting, you know, ridden by multiple guys and you know, is that a case of you just got to go out there and practice with the stick and do it and, and you know, work on your footwork and, and little things like that, just like an attackman or a midfielder would at that end of the field? Yeah, absolutely. I think it's just as important for a defenseman to go hit the wall uh, throughout the week as mm-hmm. well. You know, that helps on ground balls, landing stick. You just have more stick control. So that, once again, just goes back to your preparation, whether it's the extra time in film or the extra time and on the wall or the weight room for that matter. It just goes back to preparation throughout the week. G- gives you the confidence to succeed come Saturday, or right. come game time, I should say. You had a great view of what occurred in the final, <laughs> uh, let, I'll even go back to the tying goal. Uh, you know, Syracuse is offside. Somehow they missed the biggest guy in the middle of the field. He's right in that cavity in the middle. He scores a goal there, 9.5. You've got the best view of, of what was that like to watch from that end of the field to see that play develop. And, and then obviously, you know what it means for Joe as your teammate in, mm-hmm. in that situation. I mean, I'm talking about now, I got goosebumps just talking about it. But what was it like to watch it from your end of the field? Uh, words can't describe it. It, it was an amazing feeling to, to, for, for Joe, especially. I mean, to put, be put in that situation and to capitalize on it is an awesome feeling for him and I, his family must have sure. such mixed emotions. I don't know whether they're happy or upset for Danny, but yeah, from my end of the field, words can't describe the, the emotions that were going through my body. You said goosebumps. I, I can promise you I had tons of those <laughs> at that moment. No doubt about that. Now, you know, for you, you played football, basketball, lacrosse uh, in, in high school. Was there ever a chance it was going to be something else or was it always going to be lacrosse? And, and were you thinking anywhere besides the Naval Academy? So one of my favorite coaches was my football coach in high school, uh, Mark Mayer, and he would always, you know, push me to sure. to try and go football. I don't know football. How coaches but are, yep. Coming from St. Anthony's, it has a really big lacrosse yes. culture. So I kind of just was put on that track and rode it out. Now you all with the Patriot League tournament coming up this week. You, as we're taping this, you won't know your opponent until later on today. Familiar with both, you mm-hmm. played both of them. Uh, potentially this year, but what what is the key for you all? Is it as much about just you all as a team, or how much does the opponent affect preparation for what you are trying to reach your goals this weekend? Well, when we do know our opponent come tonight, we will prepare for them the same we have done the entire year. Um, It is definitely more so about us. We know what we need to do to Mm -hmm. be um, a successful team come this Friday night, and we are going to do that starting today in practice. All right. As always, appreciate the time. Best of luck this weekend. Thank you. All right. He's an all-conference guy. He's a big guy in the back. Where's number five for the mids? Michael Strack joining us here on the Navy Sports Magazine.